<laughs> hey, black <clears throat> women. I had to just come and do this real quick while I'm watching my incredible show, Shogun, on um, Hulu, right? This shit is amazing, okay? I love this show. But anyway, I had to come and give this lady, Gustava, if it's a woman, it's probably some fucking bum-ass black dude pretending to be a woman. But if it's not, let me just say this about my Gwyneth Paltrow video, right? Fuck white women, fuck white men, okay? For all you non-black people out there that have a problem with black people, me, who is a descendant from free African people who were enslaved in this fucking country, who made it possible for you to sit your funky ass on your couch and live nice in America because of my ancestors who were literally worked to death, and paid nothing and sold and multiplied all over this fucked up country so that you guys could have wealth and no one else shut the fuck up okay and let me explain something to you we don't have to ask for your fucking permission or your understanding or your acceptance of our history in this country when i said Gwyneth Paltrow was just trying to exploit black women and trying to get us to buy her bullshit. What the fuck? Nobody cares about Gooped. That's her bullshit. Sell it to her own people and sell it to all of the non-black people who got a problem with me saying, fuck these white women always trying to exploit black women. This has been their national pastime, okay? You don't know shit about our history with these white people in America. If you did, you'd keep your fucking mouth shut and you would know something by now not to say anything when we speak about our lived experience in this country then and now because not much has changed okay besides the fact that physical shackles are no longer on our bodies every single ounce of ways of making money off of black people that is the infrastructure of this country is still in existence to this day the prison system labor where you're not paid equally for the work that you're that you do inadequate housing inadequate education violence depravity hatred killing and assault of you on the street by whites is still here today okay so when we talk about our experience in this country mind your goddamn business because it doesn't have nothing to do with you and it is not a thing of the past. It is very much a thing of every day of our lives because those white people got a problem with our existence. When we are the first people of the world and we didn't come knocking on their countries fucking with them, they came fucking with us, okay? And when we came here, if we didn't have the smarts and the know-how to build this motherfucker up to the point that we built it up, you would still be in a fucking forest in this place, okay? And one more thing I got to say, because I saw a very disturbing fucking TikTok yesterday about Native Americans. Let me make this shit very, very clear, right? Native Americans are not indigenous to America. They came here like every fucking body else. You know who's indigenous to America? African people. Can we say why? Because we are the first people on the face of this fucking world, this planet. So there's no other people that's going to be somewhere we have never been before when they didn't exist before we did. And another thing, they don't have any special rights to America, okay, just because they were here with Africans who were here before them, before the whites came. And looking at me, you could clearly tell that I'm from both tribes. My family has been in America since, Amer since probably before America existed. Okay? And for you for you to know, I immediately have Choctaw relatives literally related to me that still live on in reservations in New York, in um what is that shit called? Shinnecock, New York, and there's some in Louisiana and also um Mississippi where my grandfather is from. So let me tell you something. Y'all stop talking all this shit about trying to make it seem like everybody else in america has claims to america except us black people 
us descendants of African who are the first in the world that were brought to this country and who are descendants of the Africans who settled in this land before all the rest of you came. Stop talking shit about how we don't have a right to tell our story and to acknowledge what life has done to us. You're, you, you guys are really out of pocket, you're out of line, and you need to mind your goddamn business. White women have always been trying to take advantage of black women. They get their ass in a bunch anytime they're around black women and black women don't want to include them, don't want to fuck with them, don't want to acknowledge them. Do you know, want to know why, Miss Octavia, whatever the fuck your name is? It's because they were so used to the fact that they were allowed to own black women for almost 500 years, if you can understand that. I mean, seriously understand that. Think about your baby, if you have one, that somebody could come and take from you and do whatever the fuck they want with it for 500 fucking years. Think about that. Your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, everybody you care about near and dear to you. Think about that. And then... All of a sudden now, they can't do all the wicked, nasty shit that they used to do before. It's psychological. That shit just don't go away. And then when you add to it the fact that these fucking savage-ass white people who enslaved black people and the black people who suffered all that horrendous torture and trauma under them, none of us ever got any psychological help. So when we say, or I say, because I everything I say, I fucking stand ten toes down on it, okay? Stay away from white women. They mean you no good. You want to know how white women really feel about black women? Read The Help, the real book. Also, read a book from slavery called They Were Her Property. And it will teach you and show you and tell you how white women, for sport now, used to defigure black women. Chop off their fucking limbs. And have animals fuck them to death. And all types of other ignorant shit that cross their fucking mind. Or whatever they could think of in their imagination. Okay? They have an insidious amount of hatred and jealousy for black women. Which is why they're always trying to appropriate our culture. Come into our spaces when we don't want them there. Which is why they lost their fucking minds for on TikTok with the black girl follow train. Because... They cannot accept that we are human beings and we are not something that they could just do whatever the fuck they want with or to whenever they feel like it. Me personally, I almost had to fuck up a white woman the other day in the street going to work because I happened to miss the bus. You know how sometimes you get a bus driver that wants to be an asshole, sees you coming, but then lets you get to the door and then fucking keeps going? Well, he did that to me, right? And it was a fucking black piece of shit dude, right? So, when I turned around to go back to the corner to sit down on my camping chair that is expandable, right? Collapsible and expandable. So, I always sit outside instead of standing and waiting. When I turn around, this, this white bitch is all in my face staring at me. And then she starts making a pursing face like a baby as to pout as if she's making fun of me. Like, oh, like I missed the bus. As soon as I seen her doing that to me. I jumped right in her face. I said, bitch, mind your motherfucking business and take your ass down this street. Or I get in your ass. Because I don't got shit to do with you, so you better not fuck with me unless you want to go all the fuck the way. And she, now the bitch want to run down the block. But this is the thing I'm talking about when I say they just always want to try to exploit black women and fuck with us whenever they can. This is exactly the shit I'm talking about. Because I was really about to put hands, feet, and everything all over that woman. Fuck her up for real. And, and keep on going to work. Because they think they can just do whatever the fuck they want until the black person that they looking for comes out ready to beat that ass. And then it's like, oh, 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 oh. Because you got to understand, they don't have any respect for us. They feel like we're like their pet or less than their dog. So they could do whatever the fuck they want. And they cannot. They cannot. So when I was saying that about Gwyneth Paltrow, I meant every motherfucking word. Fuck her. And her products. Her weak ass shit. That she trying to sell black women. Because black women don't need that shit. 
Just Google, Google Goop, y'all. It's all types of bullshit she's selling and some fucking podcast she has to pump her shit. And because it's not doing well with the white world, right? She's thinking about the fact that the black women, they claim we spend over a billion dollars a year. A lot of this shit I really think they make up because I know I don't spend no thousands and thousands of dollars on shit I don't need. And I know most black women that I know don't do that either. So, okay, collectively, if there are a billion of us spending a dollar, I can see that. Because there are over a billion black women in America. Yes, there are. So, okay, all right, no problem, right? So, I get it. But, for her to keep to be coming for us because she feels like, and they all feel like we're suckers. Because they feel like they're so smart, they could psychologically get anybody to do what they want do what they want us to do manipulate us and all this other shit because they think they're so fucking smart no you could do that with some people you cannot do that with all of us don't forget y'all remember that little video they put out how to sell to the negro don't forget that shit right so but anyway this whoever this bitch was that left this comment talking about um i got so much hate bitch you don't know the meaning of hate black people don't have hate when we speak the truth about white people, white America, and the shit they do to us. The hate is the fact that white America has done some horrendous, savage, brutal shit to black people. And believe me, if we ever got gully enough to get, get, do the same shit back to them, there would be no motherfucking America. Okay? Because they have done foul shit. Don't ever step to me talking about some bullshit about I got hate. I don't hate a motherfucking person. I will dislike the fuck out of them, tell the truth, okay? But if you do something to me and give me a reason to hate your ass, then rightfully so. But me speaking my piece on the facts of situations is exactly what the fuck it is. And if you got a problem with that, take your ass the fuck off my channel and don't come back. Because I'm an unapologetic black woman. I don't bite my tongue and I don't make nice or try to pretend that shit is not the way it is. White people are very nasty. They hate black people. They put on a fucking facade in front of the world and in front of society. Because they don't want people to deal with them for the true character that they are and have. Okay? So please don't, don't come over here with that shit no more. You don't know the first fucking thing about being black in America. Or being most importantly a black woman. The most abused individual in all of fucking America. Not only do we have to get abused by every fucking body else, and white people especially, but we get it from our own fucking black males. Okay? So, mind your fucking business. And when I said she was trying to exploit us, she was. She's looking at the statistics of YouTube and how black women buy from different... um products and whatnot promoted and um what would he marketed to them on social media because too many black women on social media are like little followers anything that these white folks pump and push on social media the black women follow right behind instead of them having independent thought and thinking about does that dollar we're about to spend with those white folks does it circulate in our community more than two times before it leaves our community? Yes or no. That should be the determinant of whether you spend that dollar on that bullshit ass product or not. And I can tell you, as long as I'm black, her shit ain't circulating in, the, in no black community. Not even for half an hour, okay? So don't tell me nothing about her, all right? She is a whack actress. And somebody else that came on here saying some other shit about she had a black uh, best friend her whole life. How the fuck you know? She could write or her publicist could write whatever the fuck they want to put in a newspaper to, to get whatever try. To get whatever results they're trying to get. And to be perfectly honest with you, if you didn't know a, lo a lot of things about black women, most black women are really not friends with white women. Most of us because we have better sense. So even though we may associate with them, hang out with them or whatever, we code switch. We're one way with them, pretending, 
And then when we're with our real girls and our black people, we are who we really are. Because that's something that we learned and was passed down from slavery. We never allowed the white people who were around us and ruling us and overseeing us to really know who we were. That was the only thing we got to keep for ourselves through slavery. And that has been passed down to present. Because I don't care who the fuck you are. If you're not in my inner circle or a black person like me, I don't indulge no real shit to you. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. You get mad or not, we don't care. Okay? Because y'all don't indulge your, your real secrets with us because we know y'all are all KKK members. You really are. Like, come on, man. Y'all do shit to spite yourself just to make sure that black women get no advances and don't get no benefits in society. Then you're going to send me dumbass messages like supporting group is going to do something positive for me, my community, any other black women or their communities. That shit ain't doing nothing for us. It's doing everything for her. I bet she ain't hiring no black women. I bet she ain't franchising none of that goop shit to black women. But she want to come over here and get your dollar, doesn't she? Man, fuck off with that shit about uh, that chick with her damn... What's her name? Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow. 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 My goddamn, all right? Let me finish watching Shogun. It's getting good. All right. Good night, black women. It's all you hating ass motherfuckers leaving terrible comments. Peace the fuck out, okay? Goodbye. Good night, y'all. Night, what the hell are you doing? What do I hear over here?